So it seems like every day we get like 90 uh, prio gems, just as like a gift. Uh, I'll take it. I mean, I'm not gonna argue. <laughs> <laughs> the, there's no argument for me for getting a free gift. Hello, baby gang says this is Calvin, also known as Romer, and this is my first ever playthrough of Genshin Impact. This place is so gorgeous, like so, so pretty. And we have a lot of things that we still have to explore in this place. Oh god, look at these boys. Um, Bennett, do you want to do something about these boys? Let's light there it you up. go. Oh. Off we go. How about you overload yourself? Okay, okay, okay. 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 <laughs> Time to swing. Time to swing for the fences on these guys. Do I... Should I just leave? Should I leave? Do you guys want to fight me? Or do, like... Okay. You, you want me to go. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Right? Have a good day. Uh, isn't that right, Hulu? Hulu Plus. He gets it. Unless Hulu is an actual, like, traditional name, then I'll feel terrible. I'll feel absolutely terrible. Um, you know, I, n I never would attempt to make someone feel bad for their name. So this over here, we can do... What does this do, though? Oh, we just have to activate a few of these. Yeah, like, man, I'm so happy that, like, I'm at a stage with, um, this game that I went from, like, really not liking Geo... Uh, as an ability to like being like really into where, where's the chest? Oh, here it is. To being re to, like actually very into it. Like actually like more into it than I thought I'd be. Um, which feels good because now I feel like my party right now is very good. You know what I mean? I, I like my party right now. And, and honestly, it's one of those things that like you guys have helped me quite a bit too. It's definitely not just me, like, you know, being like, oh, this is what I'm going to do today, so I'm going to do today, so I'm going to do today. It's definitely not just that. We have some commissions we're going to do first before we go on with this. We're going to start from here at one point, and we're going to go up towards here. Uh, but we'll do our commissions first. Uh, again, commissions are great for me because they are very good at, like, letting me practice the gameplay quite a bit. They're very good at, like, letting me, like, do a few little fun things as the video starts. I feel like it really sets up the video well. Like, it sets, it sets me up well. Like, I enjoy myself quite- Who wants it? I see that maybe- Usually these guys are like a little bit lower- Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I always felt like they were lower level, but... I could be wrong. Uh, and maybe it's because we went to Liu that they are a bit of a higher level. Enemy reinforcements, of course. Look at that. Look at electro, electro charge style. People were also saying on a previous video that the last boss we fought, which was the um, wolf, that I actually did pretty good on it. And that makes me feel pretty good to know that like I did do alright on uh, the wolf boss. Honestly, like, you know, when people say, oh, you're good at dodging, I really feel like the, the thing where it's like you're good at dodging literally comes from playing games where like the dodge roll is essential, where dodging is essential. Um, and in reality, it's like... It's not because, like, I'm instinctively good at this. It's probably just because, like, I've gotten better or good at pressing buttons to dodge stuff. So whereabouts are we, go are we going up? It's up. Okay. Can we... Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, like, maybe I should just take the compliment. <laughs> but, like, really, it's like, it's just a matter of, like, I've gotten good at the idea of, like, pressing buttons at the right time. That's pretty much it. <laughs> There's no other, uh, there's no like, there's no like, oh, he's naturally good at this, you know what I mean? It's, it's years of probably practice. And I'm, I'm not good at other stuff in this game, but I'm glad that I'm good at the dodge. I'm glad the dodge is pretty good. Um, sometimes I'm not good at dodging though, like, sometimes when they freaking juggle me, I feel like crying, you know? So I think Bennett's always good to start this off, right? But we should probably kill this guy first here. There we go. Adventure time. Adventure time. Go on and grab your friends, he says. Do a razor on it. So freaking sick, really, like this move. I was... I, I think I'm pretty blessed with the characters that I've gotten so far. We even got two Noels. We could do, like, a Noel party. Yu-Gi-Oh style. You know, have, like, a Jinzo party, but it's Noel. Defeat all opponents. Oh, God. 
So yeah, again, get rid of these shamans, which you learned are actually like the, the, the providers, the keepers, the protectors of like, kind of like the, um, like the daddies of uh, these, these hilly trail tri tri uh, tribes, which is really freaking sick to, to figure out, like, and to find out. Like, that the, it's, it's sick to find out even, like, that they have a culture of any kind that is different from our culture, you know what I mean? Like, the reason for painting their face, the reason that they're a little bit hostile, they have their own language that actually works. And that's why it's hard to, like, make peace with them because their language is so different to us that they're kind of like, hey, why on earth? Should we communicate with these guys who like have this weird language? Let's heal up with Bennett. Look at this. Look at this heal up and then go Pah! Nice I, Okay, I totally get that Bennett and and Razor are carrying my team. I totally get that. Can we, can we do it? Uh, we can we can do one. We might as well last time we got Noelle um, You know, we got a character last time, so I don't think we're gonna get another one, but it was really funny uh, that we just got Noelle randomly we got a book. Good. Wait. We only have 225 of those things, so... We'll, we'll, we'll leave it off for a bit. These commissions are actually taking way less time than usual, actually. Oh, but it looks like there's like a story commission up here, so let's go to this one up here, which we're going into Storm Terror's Lair, which is unusual that they take us here for anything. But these commissions actually might be very quick this time. Oh, it's destroy this big boy? Destroy big, destroy big Daddy? I have an idea. So we're gonna go... Set him on fire. Do this for a bit. See, there's why I'm bad at dodging. You know what I mean? Sometimes there's, there's bad dodges. You know what I mean? Sometimes I'm bad. Put you put you up on a pedestal like you've always wanted. These aren't too bad. Again, like we're we're talking about like a, a party that like three of the party members have level forty freaking damage. So like it's not like it's it's you know it's almost a foregone conclusion because we're fighting guys who are like way lower level than us. So if we fight guys who are a little higher level than us, so we do have to be more precise for sure. Or if, or, if, or if enemies that are like the same level as us, we definitely have to be more precise. For sure. Oh, oh yeah, look at this. I love the way they do this as well, by the way. This whole area was awesome. How do we get a... Do we... Oh, fly from here. And it's crazy that like, you know... One of the things that like happens in most story-based games for me is that like you go into like this world... <laughs> And these areas mean so much forever. You know what I mean? Like, I'm never gonna forget Storm Terror's Lair. Like, you kidding me? There'll never be a time or a place in my life where I forget about Storm Terror's Lair. There will never be a space in my life for forgetting about Storm Terror's Lair. You know what I mean? It's like, it's... And... I've talked about it previously, like, you know, how, like... I play a lot. I play. Okay, it's okay. I uh, know it's okay. Okay, I'm doing this now. Uh, I played a lot of Dark Souls, Bloodborne, all those games. Like during college, like it was because again, when you're in college, you're you're trying to save money, and one of the easiest things you can do in college, is, when when it comes to like playing video games, is buying a game that is like your game. It's your game for like all of your stuff, right? It's the game that you play constantly. And I imagine if I had this game, it would be the same thing. Oh my god, you smell like rotten poo. Um, you know, I imagine if I if I played this game, it would be the same thing, you know? Uh, but in, in college, it was like, I, I'm playing all the Souls games, like all the time, 
I played Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 1, Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3 when when it came to 2016. Um, Demon Souls. I would just play them non-stop. Like, that's all I would play. I'd play other games sometimes too. Like, you know, like, of course I'd play Five Fantasy when, when it came out. And I've, of course, played a lot of new games. But, like, it was like a religion to me playing all those games constantly. Um, and, you know, what's always, like, crazy about playing those games for the first time is that, like, you'll beat an area. And, like, say, just like Storm Terror's Lair, like, say if you, you destroy the Witch of Isolith in Dark Souls 1. That area is so, like, intimidating and imposing. And then when you defeat the Witch of Isolith and come back later, if you come back and look at the it did the boss arena again, and the Witch of Isolith isn't there, it's like, this is just a, this is just a space. You know what I mean? It's a space, but it still means a lot to me. And that's how I feel about Storm Terrors there now, where it's like, man, like, this is just a, a, a space, but it's still meaningful, you know? It's, it's, it's like, even without Storm Terror, it feels really, really meaningful. Otto? Oh, Rudolph. What should I give? Hmm, you're also planning a present to someone? Yeah, I'm gonna plan a present to your wife. Picking gifts is really an adventure and a half, isn't it? I want to give my wife Juliana. Uh, but I have no idea what to pick. Well, picking presents is like that. You I might have a thousand things to choose from, but somehow it always feels impossible to find the perfect one. I really can't think of anything. And I'd ask someone in the city if only I knew who was best to ask. Who exactly should I ask? How about Marjorie runs the souvenir shop? Marjorie? Oh, right. She runs a souvenir shop, doesn't she? She certainly would have some good, choice goods on sale. Could I trouble you to make a trip over the shop for me? Lily's out at the moment, so I need to wait here until she's back, since Jillian is still at work. Besides, I want to give her a surprise, so I can't afford to let her know. Sure, we'll do that for you, buddy. We'll do that for you. Lazy. Good for nothing. I'm so lazy, I'm not determined. I imagine our commissions will be in Mondstadt until we talk to Catherine and Liu. Right? I imagine that's what's going to happen. I wish we could change this out. We could probably can change this outfit, right? Hold on a second. This is where we change it. Yeah, you'd have to go to like shop or something. Like, um, let's see. Shop. Is there anything new character outfits? Ooh. Oh my god. That's a really nice outfit. Character outfits. Is there any outfit for our main character that I can that I can buy? Oh, but like, there's like one. I don't have this. There's like a new outfit for Daluk. Known characters that I have. Um. Do we have enough to buy some intertwined fates? We do. We got one intertwined fate. Okay. Um, yeah, man, did we, we didn't unlock any outfits, did we? Because I think it would show us, right? If we unlock some outfits. Zach Aguilar and Corina Bodegger. Zach is playing someone else, apparently, because he tweeted out that he was playing someone else, I think, in, in this game, too. His profile where we can, like, find, how do we find, I remember you could, like, get outfits and stuff. Oh, we have to level up our artifacts at some point, too. Um, I want to kind of explore it, and we'll do it maybe in the, at the hour, at the top of the hour. Uh, wait, Noelle is... Yeah, we're, we're not going to waste anything just yet. Isn't that right? Um, how, did, how did we do outfits before? Was it just in gear? I'm... I remember it was so easy for me to find this stuff. On Talon's profile? It's not in profile. Wait, no, it should be... Just like here, right? Dressing room. There we go. Outfit, rising star. We don't have any outfits for you. Man, I'm, I don't know. Like, I'm just getting kind of sick of looking at brown. For being honest. 
Getting pretty sick of it. Oh, who's that? 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 Is it a weirdo? Wander, leave me alone. No, it's Luke. Luke, 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 smelly Luke. Honestly, like they're making fun of the recent new Silent Hill games for saying that an insult like stinky is a, is like not an insulting insult. F off, man. Someone called me stinky, I'm thinking about it for three weeks. You know, if someone calls you stinky or smelly, tell me you're not showering twice a day. <laughs> you know? Hey Marjorie, how are you doing? Welcome, every treasure here is unique, so we don't need to negotiate the price, nor do we do refunds. Do you know anything about presents? Presents? I've got a lot here, but what do you need for? Uh, a present for Juliana. A present for Juliana? You? For you, I presume? Do I need to tell you who it's from? Because it makes quite a difference what I recommend. Oh, it's from Rudolph. Hmm. Let me think. Oh, yes, I do have a present you'll definitely like. That said, he did he bring... Uh, did you bring enough money? The present... Went, yeah, sure, that's fine. Small beans, we say as well. Well, you are too straightforward. I've already wrapped the present. Take it. Oh yes, don't open it, you hear? Presents are meant to be surprises after all. Opening other presents is hardly considered polite either. What's the bet? It's like, like she, she put a, a, like some, like a dead pig in there. What's the bets? If I'm right, if I'm right, you guys all gotta unsubscribe. Right now. You guys gotta unsubscribe right now. You gotta smash that dislike button and hit unsubscribe. Wait, is that Rudolph? No, it's Herman. Herman? Do you know Rudolph? See, this game is duplicate characters. Duplicate characters. Well, guess what? It seems like your... Your... Your mother... Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go. And I know, like, by the way, there is, like, a lot of fast travel in this game. And, like, I, I know that people also, like, skim the videos. And that's fine. Like, I don't mind if people skim to see the parts they like. It's a two-hour video, usually. So, you know, do whatever you need to do. Um, but I always find people will be like, I'll be in the video being like, Hey, I love walking around the place and not fast traveling all the time. And still I'll have people being like, you know you can fast travel. <laughs> it's like, yes. <laughs> I know that there is fast travel in the game. But you know, right? It's like, yeah, I know. It's kind of just fun to do, uh, to walk around a bit. We did. Oh, thank you. Wait, did you buy this? How much was it? I'll reimburse you. It was nothing. I mean, it's a present for Juliana. It's, I can't just spend your money or hers. I did save a little on Sly. Hold on, well, let me get... No, 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 no. I do hope that Juliana will like it. What did you... Ten... Okay, ten pride. I'll take that. Victoria, how are you? Looking lovely today. Looking lovely. Juliana. Oh, wait, you're a sister? Juliana, he... Oh, wait, I'm not supposed to say <laughs> <laughs> Looking good, Grace. Good. Looking good. A requirement, apparently, for all the sisters it, to be a nun was to be very pretty, apparently. Okay. That rules you out, Victor. <laughs> Victor. <laughs> okay, Victor. Go home. Never talk to us again, Victor. <laughs> Okay, I think if we're leveling up artifacts, correct me if I'm right. Um, we should uh, uh, look at the way like this is like all open. Like it's the most open world I've seen in a long time. You know what I mean? The fact that like you can just walk over there, like you know what I mean? Like the thing is with like Bethesda games, and it's not I'm not insulting Bethesda because I still I still love Fallout. You know, I still love Fallout uh, Three. It's one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, I have a review of it on my channel when I used to do reviews. Look up my review of Fallout 3. It's it's wild and I, I still like it. It's still probably one of my favorite videos I've ever made. I might re-release it sometime just so you guys can see it. Um, but it's there on the channel. You can... Oh, ah! um, but yeah. Um, like, most, most towns would have you, like, walk in here. Right? And then, like, you have to, like, do a... Like, a little, small little... Loading screen. But that's not the case here.
Like, it's just literally just, like, letting you in here, you know? It's awesome. Catherine, how are you? Astra Abyssosk. Welcome to the Adventurous Guild. I'd like to, yeah, yeah. Thank you for completing today's commissions. Here is your reward. Thank you. What do I get? Yeah, it's it's, it's just Add like stuff Astra. to like, again, I think we're going to get more stuff as we do our commissions later on. Man, they, they used to auto characters here like this. And now they don't. Watching out, Miles. Big deal. I've seen bigger walks. Artifacts. Okay. So I think, yeah, the best thing to do would be to, like, level up these ones. Right? Um, so we can enhance these type of artifacts. Do, like, enhance the next tier. Oh, wow. So, like, you do, like, plus one. Oh, okay. Okay. And enhance this. So it goes plus two. Um, enhance the next tier. So oh yeah, so we just, we just use our little weakling ones. Okay. Okay. Um, hold us like okay. So you, wait. So would it be better if the, you let the auto add do it? Because then they'll just do the ones that we don't need. Because we have so many artifacts, it's not even funny. You know what I mean? So we could do this. Okay, then, like, we could equip him with this. We also have this, which is like, should we, like, this, the filter should be, like, wait. No. Maybe just go by the stars, because this is, like, Elemental Master 71. We don't need to unequip this from him. We could enhance this. Again, I just wanted to make sure it's all, I think it's only using one star artifacts. Which is good. I think I was the last of our one star artifacts, though. <laughs> I think I was the last of them. Because now... Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Okay, so we'll do that. Um, honestly, though, where's our other character? So, you should have... You should be equipping some more three star stuff, I think. Attack. Crit rate. So, they have elemental mastery, which is good. Um... HP? He's been dying a lot, so maybe we increase his HP a bit. <laughs> maybe? Um, attack. Defense. Or his defense. What do you guys think about increasing his defense? So he can be more of a glass cannon type, type thing. So if we cook this and enhance this, do an auto add on this. I just want to make sure we're not doing... I think I, think I trust him to only do like one star stuff. You know what I mean? I trust them. Okay, so we'll do plus five maybe as 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 a, as a majority thing we can do, and then we have Sayu as well. Uh, she has she is we're gonna equip something else on her. So what we do like maybe do like attack is actually pretty good for her, like to to boost her attack because that's what we want for her if she's gonna be like, um. How do I say it? If, if, if we're going to have no consumables found. Oh, jeez. Yeah, but like, couldn't we, like, consume two-star ones now? Like, who's going to stop me? You know what I mean? Who's going to stop me, really? Okay, so what I might do is we enhance these, okay? And we have all these characters have enhanced pocket watches, Right? We can also enhance these items too, which is, by the way, this is really cool. Um, but we can't... I might enhance this as well. And if you guys are like, hey, Calvin, you shouldn't be using two-star stuff. Oh my god. Let me know. I'll not feel bad about it. It won't make me cry. You know what I mean? Um, but also, like, I feel like doing things like this allows me to know what I'm doing wrong and what I could be doing better. You know what I mean? It's like, if I, if I make a mistake, it's like, at least then I know. Um, you know what I mean? It's like, at least I'm aware, aware then. So this is, I think I want... 
on you and like an yeah maybe just this one as well so if we and if we enhance this as well we won't use anything above two stars by the way unless you guys are like hey calvin you shouldn't be using this yeah i might stop now just so like we know, like, you guys can correct me. You know what I mean? Like, and I have no problem, you guys, because I feel like that's the best way to learn in some cases where it's like, hey, Calvin, don't do this. You would have been better off doing this. Uh, you know what I mean? If that makes sense. Right? Um, and you guys can say, don't do this, don't do that, don't do this. And, like, in some cases, it's like, yeah, like, you know, I will go against what some people will say sometimes. Like, say, like, when people, like, don't use XP books, it's like, okay, well, like, what we're, we get, like, 3,000, uh, like, XP books all the time. Like, every day we're getting XP books. It's not that big of a deal, you know? It's really not. Um, okay, we should cook while we're here. And we might make more of this, please. Perfect little, uh... Radish thing, radish veggies. I'm not, I don't know, I don't know if I'm a fan of radishes. Like, really, like, like, my favorite veg is broccoli or cauliflower. It's the best. But, like, making a bunch of this, like, why not? You know what I mean? Who's gonna, who's gonna. So we can auto cook it? Oh, wow. Oh, we we unlocked auto cooking for this. Do we also have auto cooking for this? Auto cook. Wow, that's so useful. That's awesome. Okay, we have like a bunch of food now, and we have this rock. What do you think of that, Lin? I've seen it before. You've seen it before. I've seen it before. Yeah. But of who? You you did it before by accident down here. You pressed the wrong button. Lin. I swear to God, I like you. <laughs> Well, let's be real here. Okay, so our inner quests. Wait, there's a new quest? Leanne's troubles. Leanne, you okay? <laughs> okay, we found a new quest as we were going on a journey along here. Yeah. Sayu also having boosted attack is a good thing, you know what I mean? And we can also do this. Save me my ski. What are you doing here, Traveler? I'm out looking for, um, Matsutake's, uh, but not having much luck so far. Could you help me? I only want Matsutake. Sure. Great, I'll keep looking around here in the meantime. When you're done, come see me. Do we have one? This is what's good about, like, you know, me actually collecting stuff. <laughs> is that there's actually... Wait, what is this? What is this? Oh, it's a viewpoint. Cool. Beautiful. This game is just gorgeous, you know? And, like, it's so crazy that this is one of the first areas we went to. It is the first area we went to, really. And it's still, like, one of the prettiest things in the world. Like, I'm in, I'm in love with it. Okay, so quest time. So, we still can't do this one. We, we're two away from doing it, which is good. Uh, this is the TCG... There's a trading card game. There's a Chi of Yore. It seems Mount Jin is hiding some secrets. Yes, this is the one we want to do. And we'll start from here and we'll go up. Sunrise. Oh! Pretty confused on what made you think you weren't going to get set on fire here. Oh, he disappeared. Well done. That's why. Okay. Jesus. Adventure time. Come on, grab your friends. I, I love that, like, like. Oh my god, who? Oh, it's one of these guys. Okay. Okay, I think we need to have a talk about this. Where'd you go? Okay, he's gone. Wow, he's gone. Wow. Do... Aha! Oh god. <laughs> oh, your water? Your pure water? Oh god, you're wet, buddy. Oh, leaving so soon? Just wondering why now. Oh, run away! Come on, run away! You're better than this, aren't you? Run away. Just wonder why you're not running away. You run away two seconds ago. Oh, you do have the scary voice. Me too. Wow, 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 wow. Me too. Good for storage. Yeah, good for storage. You're right. Good boy. Good boy, Razor. Don't worry about these idiots, by the way. 
who attacked you. I love this club. Did we get any like better? Let's take let's take a look at the weapons as well for these characters too, because I wonder if we got any better like claymores. I know that like people said that there is like a like the the blood tainted greatsword might be a better idea for him because has elemental mastery on it. The bane of fire and thunder increased damage against the uh, opponents affected by pyro elect. Right. So I think that might be a good idea. And then if we enhance it again. Um, auto add. To get to level 20. And ascend. If we ascend it. And then we auto add it again. And then we like to start upgrading this as much as possible. Seven wonders. To get to like level 40. That actually sounds like a really good idea. Yeah, and we have higher lens mass. We can also refine this. Oh, with the max refinement level reached. Look at that. Much better. Now you can have that. Also, like, we should enhance Sayu. We can't. We can't ascend it yet. We have to. We, that's why we couldn't ascend it. So maybe it might be better to give uh, Sayu another weapon, like maybe like an, a white iron greatsword. Maybe, or maybe give her the blood tainted greatsword as well. Hmm. For now, debate club is fine with her. We'll see. We'll see how it works out. I'm not gonna complain too much. It doesn't look as cool, but like, if this does more damage... Let's try it out, actually. So if you're susceptible to... Um, well, already the damage is going to be more insane because of like... Yeah, like it's it's already like doing more damage because it's level 40. Smell of treasure. Smell of treasure. Man, look at that. Super pretty. Super, super pretty. The natural sounds as well, when you let them be natural, it just, it just sounds really good, right? When you let the natural sounds just go, Oh my god, look at walking up this staircase as well. The greatest time of my life. I guess we just follow this up here. Man, like... You know, and I think you guys get the cultural stuff more than anything, but like, this just always makes me like appreciate history more and it's one of those things where like I am not really big into science or space like I've never like I was never a Star Wars fan for example Star Wars never did it for me you know what I mean I never did it for me because like I like I know here's the thing like I, I love Revenge of the Sith the story of Anakin is beautiful um, it's so well done but like I never you okay I'd like to see how that adeptus again today, but she doesn't seem to like me. An adeptus? One day when I was in the forest, I met a handsome, dashing adeptus. It was as if he had popped right out of the storybook. I smiled at him, but he didn't smile back. He just returned to the, the, the doll that, that Hildra stole back to me. Do you think he doesn't like me by any chance? I'd say he actually likes you. Really? I did think about it as well. Does he just not like smiling? If I see him again, I'll definitely make a, find a way to make him smile. Cool. You do that. <gasps> there is no need to look this good. There is no need in any way, shape, or form to look this good. There is no need. Let's keep traveling along this way. Oh my god. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Wait, there's a little, si a little quest on here? Or is that the quest we're going to? And the scarecrows as well? Oh. If they were enemies, this would be a 10 out of 10 game, right? If they were enemies you could fight. Or there were, or there were people you could talk to. Hello, it is I, Scarecrow. 
I will help you on your journey. I think, you know, I'm just such a big fan of Return to Oz that the idea of, like, a, a scarecrow accompanying us would be the greatest thing of all time. Or, like, if you look at, like, Howl's Moving Castle. Little, uh, Ying? Do you know the most important things to have if you want to be an adventurer? Uh, excuse me, you know anything about fragments? Fragments? I don't know. You should go ask Granny Rokes and she might know. So to go ask Granny Rooks and about the the fragments. It's a good song. Fragments by uh, Adam of your movie. So what was that? Get out of the field there. They're they're attacking me today. Nice. Where are we going from here? This is a great, this is a great area. Wait, there's enemies here? Oh my God, I thought this was gonna be like a village. We're about to go over here, okay. I thought this was gonna be like a fully inhabited village. Go, you fool. Where are you going? You're going up? We're going all the way up? Um, if you don't know what the fragment song sound, no, we're not doing this, buddies. Okay, you just be yourself, live by yourself. I'll live by myself. No need to worry about me. Um, it's like uh, you know, you probably heard it before. Blondie does a cover of it. Oh God! Oh, I'm falling! Oh no! Oh no! Help! Ha! Can we actually set fire to these boys? I don't think. Well, we can do that, I guess. And overload them. Nice. Yeah, whoever suggested the, the this sword for uh, Razor, like probably just made my party like way more powerful. I think I think I, th I forget the name. Obviously, we're, we're getting a lot of comments on these videos, so I always kind of forget when like really good suggestions come in. I just see them and I go, okay, yeah, we'll do that. Um. Man, even looking back at where we came from is so pretty. So we travel up maybe that way? Up to- oh, of course! Of course! Are you kidding me? Look at how pretty this little pond is as well! Huh. I knew it would be you guys. Okay, I'm frozen. Okay, guys, can you- can you stop freezing me, please? Can you stop? Can you stop? Can you stop freezing me? Terra smash to dust. We're not gonna get this challenge. We need to do it again. If I didn't get frozen at the start, we could have done it. We could have done it. We could have done, done it. Okay, challenge failed. Uh, more like challenge succeeded. Am I right? Melt this boy. Oh, look, we have we have something for the whole family. Teamwork is dreamwork. Ain't that nice? And it was oh, okay. <laughs> the fire just like obliterated them as as expected, as it should really. That's how element. Oh my god, look at Brazil! No, look at the colors. I don't know if the colors come across very well on YouTube because like I know like most capture cards are the same. I do direct capture to like an SD card. Um, so like really like it it's I'd say that the game is. A little bit darker for you guys, but for me, it's it's just so pretty. It's, it's like gorgeous. Like it's like it's like I'd live here. Can you imagine playing your Nintendo Switch up there, just sitting on uh, by a scarecrow? You wouldn't be able to. I wouldn't be able to do anything. It'd be it'd be the end of the world for me. Little you. I'm you. <sighs> Got away again. Oh, stranger danger. What do you make of this fragment? Fragment, huh? Let me see. How? I have no idea. I've never seen any of these before. Why don't you go ask Granny Rokeson? Rowan? Ro Rowan? <laughs> yeah, this is the big test if it looks good in the nighttime, and it does. It definitely does. It's, uh, it's Ben. It's Razor. Little Liu? 
Hey, look, like you look over edge, you got a vision. Look at this fragment. Oh, you scared me. What fragment? What is it? You don't know? Go ask Granny Wokes if she knows everything. So I love that they have multiple characters just being like, hey, look at this character. Like, go talk to this character. Leave me alone. Um, seems to be all kids, though. Seems to be all kids. Really pretty. Can we climb up to the top of this? There's a bulletin board, thank god. Oh, I know how to get up to this. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. It wouldn't have been that bad. We could have got back up there very quickly. That would have been hilarious, though. I thought maybe we could, like, go up on top of this, but I think we have to go up on top of something else to get up there. Maybe the mountain top up here. Which you can do in a second. Look, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. In that right razor. Aru. Meet my ski. Say it. Say me my ski. Say it right now. She's like, oh, God damn it! They keep telling to talk to me. I'm not even a sage. I'm just a granny. Oh, there we go. There's a way up. Actually, let's go there now. Let's do it right now. Oh, look at that as well. Little platforms. We could light the fire over there. Maybe we could activate something. Um, Actually, we might kill two birds with one stone then. If we do that, let's go over here first then. Hello, traveler. Welcome to Kungji Village. I have this fragment. A fragment? Of... Found something curious, have you? Let me see. No wonder you can't make heads or tail of it. This is right. This isn't writing out here. It's a drawing. Long ago, before writing was invented, people recorded events with pictures. True. Look, this symbol here depicts the chi. A legendary beast. It looks like the full symbol must have been very large and complex. This is the only part of it. But it's enough for me to recognize it, recognize it by. I guess is that this depicts the battle between Geolol and the Chi. It's hard to be more specific from this just one piece. If you had all the pieces, could you make sense? Oh, yeah, sorry. If all the pieces could make sense of it? I don't know about that. No guarantee. But I can guarantee is without all the pieces, I certainly can't make sense of it. Watch me. I'll find the rest in no time. <laughs> so, much, so much enthusiasm. I like that about young people. Given what this fragment is showing, I'd say that they, if you really want to find the other fragments, here's what you should do. According to the legend of Geolord and Chi, the battle took place at a great height. So you try and look on the mountaintops around here. Beyond that, there are many traces of the battle in this area. Ruins would be a sensible place to look. If every every coffin there was a losing side, the legend tells that after defeating the Chi, the Geolord instructed our forebears to erect Geo's statue to crush the Chi's remaining power. I guess he would have a, a high chance of finding things to do with the Chi in places with lots of Geo statues. For example, there are many Geo statues erected west of Kinjai Village. It's said that the very spot where the Geo Lord crushed the Chi. Maybe you'll strike lucky over that way. Once you find all the fragments, bring it to me. I'll be waiting right here. The Chi of your. The Chi of your. <laughs> the Chi of your. I have no idea where to look. I know she told me, but I'm very confused. Look for Gia statue, she says. How about you look for your mother instead? We're, we're on mother attack today, guys. We're on mother attack today. It had to happen, didn't it? Mother, mother time. I have all the pieces if you want them. If you're to make fun of an old man, you pick the wrong one. I don't take any nonsense. Who are you? Not to scare you up, I'm none other than the one illustrious Chang at the ninth Feiyun Slope. Back in Liu, 
The good old days, so many more went through hands that every day that I couldn't give the exact number. Anyone who wanted a business new was me, they had to impress. Even big shot uh, Liu Xing. I literally just woke up, guys, so I'm sorry if I'm yawning. It's not that I'm bored. <laughs> Would have to move aside if you told me they were in my way. So why did you move here to live here as a hermit? I never said that! <laughs> it was a somewhat unexpected turn of events. The business started going downhill, so I thought I'd sell the old abode and move out here where it's peaceful and quiet to get away from it all. The ancients had a saying, He who has not been known p uh, poverty has yet to become a true man. I might only have this hut, but my, uh, my book collection into my name, but I'm optimistic that my time will come again sooner or later. I wonder about the middle trade, baby. Well, I shan't say any more. I'd be handing you a business opportunity on a silver platter. But when my time comes, everyone in Liu Harp is going to know that old Chang the Knight is finally back again. Or is he? So we have to kill him, right? Unfortunately. Um, yeah, so we have to look for... I wish they would, like, give us, like... An indication of where they were because like I think one of the things that like you know what happens is like I don't mind looking around finding stuff for myself I don't mind this guy's very pretty around here uh, but one of the things that happens is like you know for a long time in this game they've just been giving us the location of stuff and then when they switch to like oh yeah just find it <laughs> find your geo statues it can be kind of awkward I don't know maybe people disagree with me I think people would disagree with me and say um, but that's just how I feel. I feel like it's like, you know, you, you go accustomed to something and then they, um, kind of pull the rug out from under you. It's always very weird when games do that sometimes. Cause like, it's like, I feel like it's like, uh, you know, I can do, I can do it. You know, I can do it for sure. But also like the reason why, like, oh look, it's actually like really weird looking from up here, isn't it? The reason why I can't do it, like say in a game like Shenmue where like there's no check markers or anything like that. There's no like, hey, go here. <laughs> Um, is literally because, like, I, I'm, I'm, I've grown used to it. In this game, they are all about, like, hey, here's 300 markers to go to do this. You'll find it in this exact area. Um, yeah, I mean, like, I'm sure you guys will, uh, <laughs> no doubt help out. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. The help, that probably saved us. That little, that little jump. Huh. <sighs> And this was the was this the area down here that had the little thing? Where was it? We want to get the other piece. She called me a liar. Emily. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh Phoebe Bridgers, forgive me. Is this right? Did I go to the right place? I don't think I did. No, I totally did. Yeah, I did. It's over here. As I go along. Man, the reason why that song was depressing me, well, it's a, it's a beautiful song, Emily, I'm Sorry, by um, Boy Genius. It's an absolutely beautiful song. But I think the reason why it depresses, you, depresses me like twice, like the song like makes you cry. It's like, oh my God, this is a beautiful song. You know, um, but I think the reason why it like makes me even more sad than like just on the basis that it's a it's a it's a sad song, is when she's like, "I'm 27 and I don't know who I am," and it's like, "Girl, you're Phoebe Bridgers. <laughs> I <laughs> we're like the same age. <laughs> if you don't know who you are, <laughs> what are we doing?" <laughs> you know, it's like Jesus Christ. You know what I mean? Like, I guess, I, and I'm not saying that, like, you know, she doesn't have, uh... I, that's not what I'm trying to say at all, like, you know, uh, like, everyone can have issues no matter how famous you are. I think it was just a case of, like, you know, it's like, oh man, like... You're... You're... You're 27, you're 27, you don't know who you are? Girl, at least I, at least you have, like, one of the best music libraries in history. I didn't write Kyoto. You know, I wish I wrote Kyoto. Oh my god, you could do a dive in this game?! <laughs> what?! <laughs> That's sick. I didn't even know that. That's awesome. Emily. I'm sorry. Wait, he didn't do a dive. 
Is it is the dive exclusive to one character? No, it's not. Okay. Okay, so it says we have to look for fragments of geo statues. Like that's giving us a good indication of like the places we might look. You know what I mean? Um, honestly though, like there's no such thing as a geo statue in this game anyway. So where's the other one? So I think they're lying. I've never seen a geo statue. If you guys have seen a real geo statue in your life, type in the comments, geo geo geo, dude. What did that do? Is that the only one? No, there's one more. Type in the comments, Geodude. You unlock the chest. Cool. Actually, type in the comments. This is painful to watch. <laughs> type in the comments. This is painful to watch. Now that's what I call treasure. Yes. Okay. So we could do that right now. Uh. These are these are geo statues, aren't they? This why this why you might have a problem. Once I can get out of there, Bennett. Uh, this why this why we might have a problem. This is a geo statue, right? Does that count as a geo statue? Will we unlock this? When? <laughs> when did we unlock this? Um. We didn't unlock this one, and we didn't do this. So maybe we should actually do this. Cause that looks like we're, like it's where they're. So if we navigate towards that, that might get us some pieces. Cause she did say it would be inside some like uh, temples, temples of dooms and stuff, you know. So if we go this way, it might work out. But then again, like how close is that though? That might be very far away. I love trekking, trekking travelers into taking fragments. Oh hey hey. Are oh, she's actually very nice. God damn it. Make my jokes work, Ruxin. Ruin. When I leave, she's like, Okay, time to kill all the children in this village. Why? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> it's crazy how Ben is the protagonist now. You know what I mean? Minimal effort, <laughs> protagonist. I just became the protagonist. Honestly, impressive. <laughs> Didn't even do anything, became the protagonist. Okay. Ew, I love that waterfall over there. It's pretty. It's like a dead forest over there too. Okay, should we just... Climb up, I wonder, is it safe to climb over there or is it safe to climb over there? Uh safe to climb here, for sure. Sayu I'm sorry. We don't use you as much. Everyone in the comments just said, you know, you hate Sayu, and I was like, that's so awful. And I gotta listen to the commenters, you know what I mean? Gotta listen to them. Everyone's like, I hate Sayu. My favorite thing about, like, you know, like, a lot of new people came in with Genshin. And I appreciate you guys so much, you know? And I made sure, like, I even said, like, on, like, all my social media platforms of it that, that, like, there's no divide. You know what I mean? Like, you are baby gangsters. That's it, you know? Um, oh, wow. Look at her just dancing about the place. What if we killed her? Um, there's no divide for me. You are baby gangsters. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's dark down here. Why, why would she? Why would she do that to herself? She's all wet. Girl, girl. Are you here to play with me? Yes. Look what's happening. Where'd you go? Stop running away. Girl. Okay. Tell me what just happened. Guys, your leader died. Your leader is dead. So I ask you, what say you? Get them, Sayu. Just actually beat the crap out of them. Uh. 
Honestly, like, and I've talked about this before, by the way, like, my, my pet peeve in any game, and I, I, it, no game is safe from it. My favorite games get, get insulted just the same way. Enemies, enemies that go, oh, I'm going for you. Oh, I run away. I go for you. I run away. And everyone always answers, well, Cal, what you want to do to, to go, to just walk into your face and get hit? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do actually want that. Thank you. Let's light it up. Thanks. <laughs> I'd appreciate that actually. Terra smash. Wait, there's still an enemy? Also, I have to kill every enemy before I can do that. I'm 27. And I don't. We're going up. We're going up. Uh, what I was gonna say is that like a lot of like the new baby gangsters that came in were like not getting the jokes at first, which I think is very adorable. You know, that's that's funny to me. Um, and I'm not trying to be like you know, you guys don't get my humor. You don't get the jokes. Cause like you know, my humor is very dumb. It's it's very stupid. It's not like congruent. There's nothing like normal about it. It can so go, go you spirit, you foolish spirit. Um. Wait, no, 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 you didn't. No, you didn't. No, no, I am. You did not. You did not. <laughs> it's a miracle! <laughs> I, I refuse. Okay, get Everybody out of here. Stand back. <laughs> Is it unlocked now? Is it still un unlocked? Why? No, you guys come down here. You stop being silly. Freaking a lot of silly boys around here, huh? A lot of silly boys. You know what then? You only. You guys seriously don't want me to come up there. Like, like, okay, let's go. You guys don't want me to. This is not this is not the life you wanted. When your mother looks down on you, she's gonna think, wow, this is not the life I wanted for big old Grugger. Oh, wow, he comes down. <laughs> okay, look who's left unattended. Look what you did, big Grugger. You just got all your friends dead. You can bl blame big Grugger. He's the one who jumped down after I told him to jump down like 300 times. Not my fault. Blame Big Grogger. Oh! I could have been him. What'd you take? I'm going in! Wow, Big Grogger. Everyone's so impressed. I know, right? I was like, what are we, what are we doing? Get out of the corner. Get out of the corner, Big Grogger. All your friends are dead zones. All, all your friends are dead zones. You know why? Because you're being silly. And it's very upsetting because I met your mother once. She's a lovely woman. She wanted the best for you. And now she legitimately has the worst for you. Useful? Now she legitimately, legit, legit. Well, you're gonna see her probably. We're unusually mean in this episode and you know why? I don't know. I have no idea. I'm actually asking you guys. Unusually mean to these heady churls. Maybe it's because I found out they can probably comprehend it a little bit, you know? Let's light it up. Okay, so we lit three of these. Adventure time. Come on, grab your friends. Yeah. Because oh, that unlocks a temple of some kind. Maybe this. I think this is probably where we're getting. Oh, it looks like it's too difficult for Calvin. Or maybe. Let's try it out. Probably has a higher adventure rank than we're not supposed to hit. In. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just that's the sig signal for locked. No. <laughs> um. What are the rewards? 
Wait, hold on a second. I want to see what the rewards are because I want to see if this is where we get fragments. No. Okay. Fine. That's what you get. Water. For being very watery. Man, look at the stat like the way they do the statues in the distance as well. Is this down? What do we, what did he mean by by down here? Stone gate. Yeah, swapping the swords is a great idea. Uh, no, honestly, honestly, like guys, like great ideas coming from the comments. You know what I mean? Great idea. Oh, look at that, so pretty. Oh, it's a chest. I didn't see it because it was blocked off for a second there. Is this nice. An answer for here it is. This. One day since you looked at me. Oh, we have to go down here. Are you serious? Look at this. But I think there's a thing here. Yeah. Here it is. One day since you looked at me. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. I thought that was going to be a bit of an issue. I thought it was going to light on fire. Oh my god, I actually love fighting those, like, um, Abyss Order people. They're actually really fun. Whenever I see one, I'm like, I, re I get really excited to fight them. Abyss. Abyss. Order since you looked at me. The more, the merrier. Can I ask, well, you know, there's something happening here to you right now, and you're saying the more, the merrier, and I'm just wondering what's happening to you right now, you know? I remember, like, I, in other playthroughs, of course, I do a lot of, like, you know, not, not real trash talk. You know what I mean? It's, like, fake trash talk. And the funny thing about it is that, like, I remember one time, and, like, this is just me, like, you know, focusing on, like, a like a, like a a funny comment that was trying to be mean that didn't really work out. I remember they were like, you, so I guess the trash talk was real all along. And it's like, what? Like, who could actually believe that someone is going into this war going, hey, eh, all right, more the merrier? Oh, really? You know, I'm, I bet there is people out there, but like, Everybody no. I don't know, I don't take myself seriously enough to, to actually trash talk fake enemies, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, these are not real people. These are not real creatures. I, I know, like, you know, and I treat them like, like I said, like, but every game I treat uh, creatures like they're real. That's what I like to do. Oh, we made it back here. Oh my god, that's so cool. We made it back to here. That is so cool. Holy design, right? Like, really great uh, level design. Really freaking great level design, because I would have never even known about this place unless I saw the... Hey, it's me! It's, it's, oh, Shadow. It's Sh Sonic the Hedgehog's rival. Yeah, I just don't take myself seriously enough to ever worry about that stuff. That's, that's the issue. Or do I? I do. This is a beautiful area. One of the prettiest areas I've seen in the game so far, for sure. Like, look, this is this is terrifying ambient. Like, th this is a place in in any other game that I would be terrified of but like look how pre like yeah this is this is this is scary to me like this is like water creatures gonna come out of here and like attack us scary there's a ley line here I think is there oh is this challenge the oceanid what's an oceanid an assassin from our homeland or a fool who trespasses upon the waters of Chinsa Chinsa! Coveting the shapes of the living, pure water can take on many forms. In this way, water shall to join the battle? Oh, it's dirt ducks, it's fine. Jesus Christ, calm. <laughs> 
These ducks are, are way tougher than I thought. And they're doing like the like constant damage. Oh, so we have to destroy the elementals. That's gonna be that's gonna be the fight. Okay, that's gonna be the fight. Oh, it's a frog this time. Of course. I would have expected as much from frog. Big area of effect damage as well, right? Like a massive area of effect damage for this creature. Without solid ground. Terrestrial creatures become simply helpless. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh that's so sick. Oh. That is so sick. So she's making the, the platform smaller. Is its ability to take any shape. Yeah, man. This girl, this is awesome. This is awesome. Is this falling down or is it Let's go. Electro charge time. Electro charge time. Yeah, oh, yeah, they're doing like crazy damage. No, 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 no. We gotta get as much electro damage as possible. And get these little cranes over here. Oh my god, this is sick. This is this is one of the sickest fights in this whole game so far. Get electro charge on these guys. I wonder if we send out Sayu as well, just in case. They're immune to swirls, of course. I knew that. I said that. This is so cool. Like, they're, they're, they're gen like, oh my god, look how small this is getting. And they're, the way they're doing it is like, hey, like, that, is that one going to disappear? It's like, hey, like, you're being disrespectful of the water. You tell you come in here and just do whatever. I'm in love. This is a really sick boss battle. He's too full and cannot eat another bite. It's okay. Let's see what happens when will we not be full? Honestly, let's be careful here. It's so cool. And then they're like, hey, like, let's take away the thing that makes you good. The ground. You're not... Actually, unironically, this might help me out a bit. Rodea. power of water. Is its ability to take any shape. So sick. This is 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 so sick. A boar? A water boar? Quick! Terra smash! Look at this. Look at this. Oh god. Knock him into I was gonna say knock him into the water. But that doesn't mean a thing. Hold on, can Razor eat again? No, he cannot. Cannot eat again. Probably never will be able to eat again. This is the end of Razor. <laughs> oh my god. This is a lot. It's a lot. Terra Smash. At least we can crystallize a little bit, you know what I mean? We could probably vaporize. Teamwork is dreamwork. And then let Razor do this. Oh my god, as soon as Razor Oh my god. Let's switch real quick. Razor, just heal up. Heal up as much as you can. Heal as much as you can, Razor. Heal as much as you can. Good job! Oh! <laughs> can you eat some? Probably eat some now, yeah? Yeah, Razor's back! Razor's back! Look at that, Electro Charge style. I taste blood. Okay, and then we just kill these guys as well. How about you don't kill us? As long nice. As rain falls and rivers flow, water will exist forever. It will. It will. Maybe. Yes. Whatever it is, we'll, we'll get it. Cleansing heart, exiles feather, exiles circle, tiara torrents. Oh wow, a lot of stuff. That was so good. That was such a good fight. Man, that's exactly what I wanted from an area like this when I saw this. So good.
That is, that was like so much fun. So, so much fun. So that's a boss battle, not a ley line. Um, yeah. That was super cool. Honestly, I think uh, after this, we could go look for the fra fragments, but I'm worried about like, you know, where exactly to find them. So I might try to figure that out next time. Um, what I might do, I might get a few ley lines as well, and then we might go on and talk to Catherine in Liu and go on and talk to her in Liu, you know what I mean? That might be fun. Nice. We have to go off for this though. Because like again, we want to build up our adventure rank. We haven't been building it up as much. I would like to do the Lisa side story, the next Lisa side story, which we're like three away. So we still have a long way to go when it comes to the Lisa side stories as well. So like we want to get on that, I suppose. Nice. Actually worked out. <laughs> Actually worked out. So it's just a, a chest over here? Ah, I was wondering. Sayo is the absolute best, man. The absolute best of Sayo. Look at that. Look how good. Look how good Sayo is. Like actually, like amazing. Maybe a cloak serum. A growth serum? Is that what she said? A growth serum? Sayu, you're fine. You're more powerful than a lot of people that are like twice your height. Oh, look how the tables have turned. Little Jerry the boar! Became Jerry the dead. Oh, it's humans. My favorite type of peoples. Just wondering, uh, sorry, just, just wondering, a quick question, who gave you the right? Just, 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 just a quick question, which one of you, was you, who gave you the right? Who gave you the right to hit, Razor like that? Just, who, who gave you the right? Did someone tell you to hit Razor like that? Is that what happened? Just, just wondering, just wondering for a friend. Are these guys actually dying? Because, I, oh, they might be disappearing still. Look at that. And our test subjects, you guys all bundled together. You basically said, "Hey, let's ra let's get razored." Man, look at the damage we're doing now. Thanks to whoever suggested the the blood tainted greatsword for uh, razor. Very smart. Something I wouldn't even have thought about. You know what I mean? I just know I was just like, "Oh, debate club's good." And we got a bunch of these guys as well. Just knocked the, the shite of them. Here's Razor. Yeah, we'll take that. No problem. Builds up our adventure rank XP as well. Okay, so yeah, I think we go and talk to. We go. We go towards here. We kind of explored a lot of this area. We haven't explored it fully, of course. Um. But I feel like it'd be fun to go this way here first. And then figure it out from there. Because that's where the, the quest is actually taking us, at least, or at least part of a quest. So it's Chi of Yor. Uh, you received some clues regarding mysterious fragments from Granny Uruin. Uh, or Ruxin, I guess. Uh, one fragment is the highest point of Kitsei Village. Another is in a nearby ruin. Another is found in a geo statue to the west of Kinsei Village. So it's the west geo statue. Okay. Uh, being completely honest, I feel like we'll do that next time. We'll definitely do that next time. Um, like, the idea of, like, I, I think, like, I don't play this in between videos, 
But I think it's one of those times that I might be like, okay, let's exp let's see exactly where the highest point might be. Um, and there's a statue west. There's a ruins. Um, you know what? Let's let's see if we can find it. Let's see if we can find it in, in uh, Kinsei Village. Here. The fast travel in this game. I keep watch. You leave, you call me. Oh, he's such a sweetheart. He's such he's such an like I just like a, a darn sweetheart. Always has been. Um, best boy, really, right? These things useful? They are. They are useful. Thank you so much, Razor. Um. Oh, there's another statue down here we didn't activate. There's two. Oh, it might create a bridge. I mean... I don't think it'd be too useful since we can just, like, fast... I, I might be useful in the future, though. You never know. Let's try it out. No, is there a third one? Or is this for prettiness? Because it does look, does look pretty. There's also a challenge over here we should try to. This game has like so many like like so many things to offer. Like this game is a, is a game about like hey, if you want more, here it is. You know, if you don't want more, hey, just do the main story. Just do this because like you know, leveling up is is as easy as finding just a bunch of items. You know. Okay, is this a situation where you're gonna go super high up, my dear, and then I'm gonna follow you all the way up, and. <laughs> It's gonna be super. Wait, where'd you go? No. No. Bold. Very bold. Bold, bold, bold. Why go halfway up? That was very bold. That was so bold. That was so bold. The Is boldest, this boldest gal the in the world. From this world? Okay. There's another uh, crystal over here. And there's another one of these over here. There's a lot around this place. Let's just try and get it from up here. These things, like, like these are, like, one of my least favorite things in the game, guys. I'll be honest. Like, these little things following them around. Because, like, this game is all about so much fun. And then these guys, like, seem like, like, they don't seem like they're being helpful, you know? Like, at first it was like, oh, they're being helpful, they're like leading you towards the chest, oh my god. And then later on it's just like, what if we lead you around up high, then down b Look at this, look at this already, look at this already. What if we lead you up high, then down below, <gasps> too slow. Yeah. Wow, this is, uh, this is really what they call in the, uh, you know, like, again, I, I understand that, like, it is, like, just, like, a way to get a, an item free, but I, I don't know, I'm curious how you guys feel about this part of the game, because I'm not a big fan of, uh, following these guys around. Um, I understand it is just, like, a way of, like, giving you as much items as possible without having to, you know, how do I say it, without having to just give them away for free, you know, I understand that. <laughs> But that doesn't, I guess that doesn't make them any more fun for me. And usually this is one of those times when, like, someone goes, Well, offer a solution to how, how you think they should be used. Tell me, tell me how they should be used then. And it's like, dude, I ain't the freaking developer. <laughs> I just play games. I, I'm not, like, I would never claim to be able to make the games that these people make. That seems to be, like, one of the funniest things, like, you know, that, 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 that usually happens when... Like, like I saw recently, like online, like people were dogging on Suicide Squad, the, the game for that came out recently, the live service game, and like I totally get that, like you know, whatever people are like, criticize everything. And for me, like 
I watched Kyle Bosman play a bit of it, and it doesn't actually look that bad. It doesn't look as terrible as people are making out to be, you know what I mean? It's like not... It's not... It doesn't look like a god-awful game, if that makes sense. Like, you'd expect... The way people are talking about it, I genuinely expected this game... Expected this game to be, like, the genuine, like, worst thing uh, ever in the history of the universe. Um, just the way people are talking about this game, people are, like, literally just like, this game... Guys, is like is is dog. This game is whatever. I, I'm playing. I'm like like why is you know why are people so, so averse to this game? But like then like I also look at the other side of things when like then people are like, you couldn't make this game, so why are you criticizing it? It's like my dude. <laughs> None of us good. None of us good. But there's you know you have to let people not like games. You have to let people like games. Oh, you're... My hero has come at last. Save me. Chase this dog away. This dog clearly loves you. Loves me? He's trying to chase you down and kill me. He bit my trouser leg. Jeez, we have to kill a dog? You okay, buddy? Good doggy. Yeah, don't worry about it. I know, pe I know when some people are afraid of dogs, but I would, I would never be like, bad dog. I don't think I've said the words bad dog in my life. Probably because I don't have a dog. Oh yeah, we said we were going to go back up to the, the village, didn't we? And then go down here to see if we can find the highest point. So what this says, the, the west, right? West? So this one here, maybe? Or this one here? I don't know. Um, and it says the highest point. We, we did climb up a lot. Now, it just depends on what they think is like all in Kinsei Village. You know what I mean? That's That's probably it. Because, like, again, we'll, we'll travel there. But I don't know if I'll be able to do it this time. Because I'm not... Is that the highest point? Would that be considered the highest point? Or that... That's definitely the highest point. No, that is that. Okay. Right? Am I right? <laughs> Let's try to get up to the top of this mountain then and see if there's fragments there. Climbed up this way, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. We have more stamina now, so it should be actually like we look at the like we actually have like a lot of more stamina, more than we even need sometimes. But I'll take it. You know what I mean? You know, if we can compare it to other games, like I find stamina sometimes can be just as useful. I think the only like like, I think when I started playing games as a kid, the idea of like health was always more important to me. It's like I need to improve my health. I need more health. Um. But, like, one of the most, like, fun things, again, I, I, I roll it back to Dark Souls because that's just a game series that I, like, love and, and have played uh, for years. I'm probably, like, you know, know more about than I do most other games. Um, but one of the best things about Dark Souls is, like, when, when I started off playing Dark Souls, it was always, like, okay, health, 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 more health, more health. Health and damage, health and damage. And then, like, it comes to a thing where it's, like, you get, I got to, like, my, like, 10th playthrough. And I was, like... Okay, let's try something, like, really different here. And I used, like, one of the worst weapons in the game. But, like, it's a, it had a great move set, but I did barely any damage. Or d didn't do as good a damage as other weapons did. Um, and, like, it's like, oh, my God, this is, like, this is super fun. Like, this is, su this is super fun. And, like, the enemies are a little bit more challenging because I'm not, like, as powerful. And you get kind of, like, I don't know, it's kind of fun to, like, try out new things, I guess is what I'm saying. Um... We're probably going to fall here, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> Wander's dead! <laughs> oh no. Okay, this time we'll only do it the slow climb. Actually.
Let's go. Um, but yeah, like, it, it becomes, like, super, super fun that way. At least I enjoyed myself a lot that way. And, like, I'm not, like, like, you know, I'll never be one of those people that does the whole, like, Oh, you're like you're you're doing the most damage. That sucks. Like the only time with that, like th that, I never really like love doing that in like in games and stuff. Is like whenever I'm like, you know, watching someone play Yu-Gi-Oh or playing against someone in Yu-Gi-Oh, and they're using like the most like OP build in the history of builds, and I'm supposed to be like, like I'm I'm playing against them, and I'm like, man, like this isn't fun. This isn't fun for me anymore. I'm not having a good time. Oh, this is where we got the fragments last time. So this is the highest point. Cool. All oh, the lights went out. Did we light the wrong? Wait, well, all the lights went out? What do you mean? Is this a situation with this? Wait. There's a wrong one? So this is right. Huh? Is it a specific order? What, what, what is happening here? Who hit me? Who? me, or you might get hit by lightning too. Is this just? I, I, it's really cool that we got that we got hit by lightning actually. So that made the lights. Okay, so hold on a second. Is, I don't even get what they're saying here. Is there any indication of which one we actually have to hit? Because all of them look the same. Its bones pierced, its spirit faded, it formed and sold both to dissimated. Still, it did its flesh survive. Here stands a statue to watch in each direction. Windswept rune, snow-capped peak, Adepti's abode, and city of Liu. Off we go! So this is... This is the last one? No, okay, so this has... This one is right. This one is right. This one isn't right. It is right, okay. And... This one? What? How am I... I oh, I, how am I supposed... Okay, let's read it again. Let's read it again. So it says... Watch each in each direction the windswept room. Okay. The snow-capped peak. Adepti's abode and the city of Liu. So now that's not raining. Okay, so let's see. Adepti's abode, Thank what would that even be? So the city of Liu is in this direction, right? So this one? Um, the snow-capped peak. Is this one here? No. Where's the snow-capped peak? Adventure time. 
Go and grab your friends. Here. This one's right. So Snow Cap Peak. Um Adepti's abode. This one? And there's one more? What's the last one? I hope they don't reset. Uh, City of Liu, Snowcap Peak, Windswept Rune. Where, where's the Windswept Rune? Yeah. This one here? No, that's the Palace of Zhou. Maybe this direction here? No. Where is the Windswept Rune? Is this the Windswept Rune? Have I seen the Windswept Rune? Maybe here? Nuts. Wait. City of Lou? There we go. We got it. So we accidentally got the, the it already. It's my lucky day. Okay, awesome. So we got one of the, the fragments. So the next fragment they said was in a ruin somewhere. Um but we haven't even found the windswept rune yet, did we? I don't think we did. And then they also said there's one. Let's check the mission again. So it says, you see some clues regarding a serious fragment from Granny Ruxin. One fragment is in the highest point of Kinsei Village. Um, another is a nearby statue. Okay. Uh, a nearby rune, sorry. And then the one is a geo statue. So it's west. Um Benny's adventure team assemble. Where are we now? We're here. This is west. So this is one west. Is this is this is this Okay. So this would be west, this direction. Is there anything over here? There's something up there at least. But it says it's nearby the statue, so like... And that is a Geo statue, right? Man, I don't know. You're gonna be like, Calvin, that's not a Geo statue. You're just... Oh, wrong, wrong guy. <laughs> oh, we have to revive him. He was dead. <laughs> wrong guy. Um, let's travel back up here for a second, because this, I think this is, this is the one west, it's literally the, literally a, a statue west of Kinsei Village. Is there something above you? There is something, check up here. Oh yeah, look at this. Is this it? Yes! Ah, we got it! What's this? Incomplete writing. Rex Lapis overcame the Chi, but the Chi could not perish in its entirety. Thus, Rex and Lapis not conquer each of the fastest in turn. It's a spirit bound in the north. Its bones were pinned southeast. So north, southeast, northwest, northeast. So you have to go okay, I'm taking a picture of this. One second, guys. Where's the Where's the camera? Okay, can you, you can zoom in. Okay, okay, I don't take many photos. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, uh, so that's fine. So the first one we have, so we have to start with north. So north would be here, so it's this one. Then we have to go, hear me out here, uh, southeast. So this is south and this is east. So southeast, this one here, yes. Then we have to go northwest. So it'll be this one. Then we have to go northeast. And then we go southwest, which is the last one. Yeah. Just a little memory game, but very cool. Is this the fragments make uh, that makes three fragments on also look like they match up. So we just need to put them together. Nope, still makes no sense to Paimon. Guess we do need to ask the locals after all. Wait, we got all the fragments? 
Okay. Do we already get the fragments in the, the rune then? I know we're low health, by the way. It's fine. I know we can walk to a sta uh, the statue to heal up. Okay. Which we can do right now. We'll do it right now. We're about to go to get the fragments. Yep. <laughs> Teleport waypoint. That's actually cool. Okay, I thought we only got... I, I guess we got all three then. Hell, Travel, we're going to Kinsai Village. I have some fragments. Let's see now. Why are these fragments all fit together? See here, this is the symbol of Chi, and this is Chi was defeated in a major battle. Afterwards, was pinned down in a deep place. What's a Chi? In the legend, she was a dragon-like monster, and Mount Kinjai was once its lair. When Rex Lapis or Morax defeated it, the Chi's body twists into a rock, its blood turned into water, and its... Okay, oh, auto plays on, sorry. Do you see the sturdy trees near Kinsai Village? Those are the blood-fed trees, said to have been nourished by the blood of the Chi. But a legend is a legend, after all. Who will be able to find traces of Chi today? What happened after that? After that, in order to seal the corpse of the Chi and prevent it from endangering the world again, water was used to seal its corpse, and treasures were used to pin its uh, center of the vault. The rest of it is eligible. Does the Chi's corpse still exist? I'm afraid that other than Rex Lapis, no one else knows the answer to that question. So, young one, do you think that things recorded in these fragments are true? Well, it's not a bad thing for a young person to bumble around a bit. But if you really want to pursue your search according to the content of these fragments, then I say the place you're looking for must have something to do with water. Not only that, but it must have also be water whose entrance can be blocked. A waterfall? Let me think. Come to think of it, there's a sizable waterfall northwest of Kinsey Village. I wonder if there's something to do with that vault. Well, that's all I know. As for the rest, you'll have to build it over yourself. So there's one northwest of here. So we should go to that right away. Man, we could travel all the way down from here, actually, if we got high enough. That'd be really cool. Let's heal up our stuff here. Nice. Okay, so we'll just travel down here. It's actually not that far away, only a few meters, actually. Now here you go again, you say you want your kinship. Well, who am I to kinship down? This guy just came to the village and he won't stop singing songs. I kind of like him. No, you like anything, Boji. Uh, yeah, but you know, you like you literally like any anything. We got attacked by a bunch of hilly churls and you asked them for uh, for dinner. You said you want to come for dinner. I kind of would have helped. It it did not help. They thought that you were teasing them, and they said Napa poo poo dada, -da, and they killed you. I'm dead? You're dead. You're a ghost. Well. Life goes on. It, it literally does not go on. It kind of does. Like. What can you do? It does not help. You, you're depressed. You shouldn't be saying this stuff. It doesn't help you saying life goes on if you're sad. What would you do about sadness? You got to take Marcy Dennis to the dance when we were kids. You still think about that? <laughs> she was so beautiful. If I ever... <laughs> if I ever could have married someone, it would have been her. It would have been her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you run away, I'd say. That's what I'd do as well, if I were you. Okay, so it's in this water. It's not. Are you healing up? Are you why are you? Say he's like he's trying to show how tough he is. Look. <laughs> oh, buddy. Why would you do this to yourself? Get rexed. Why would you do this to yourself? If you don't look, they don't disappear and they all die. Day four, no progress. No idea why the boss is so obsessed with this place. Day seven, boss says she has an idea, but so far it mostly involves her waiting by the rune. Don't ask me what for, because there's a great big rune hunter guarding it. There's no way that we're, she's not. In, she's uh, she's getting in. Not quite sure how this counts as progress. So there's a statue over here. 
Now... Oh, maybe it's behind here. This is it. This looks like an interesting place to enter. Kind of terrifying. But what's... The hidden gates... The stone gates are tightly shut and there's some strange grooves on the surface. Perhaps they're a key to opening the gate? Three fragments. Give. <gasps> it looks dangerous if you don't try to uh, carefully. Something is off. Is this going to be a boss? Is this going to be a boss of some kind? This is one of the best questions. There's no end to this. Another test subject. We are... Lately we've been a razor only party, but that's just because like everyone's been getting super wet. Look at that. You know what I mean? Not my fault. People are just always wet, you know? It's so cool, and of course these guys are trying to find it too. They're all plastered outside the area too. Nice little overload as well. And like, there's like, it's like there's those, those ancient creature guys are there too. Vapor ice. Start. The wrong test subject. Defeat five monsters. Protect Kinsey Cache from being destroyed. Everybody, stand back. Are you the only creature here? Because if so, let's have some fun. It doesn't seem like you're the only creature here. This is so cool. This is like legit the type of stuff that I dream about when it comes to like side quests. Like discovering something like this. And Sayu, like, you know, being the most powerful girl in the world. You know what I mean? It's just more opponent's income. Two out of three. Where? Let's go. Teamwork is dreamwork. To dust. Terra smash. Just like this. Oh god. There's a lot of enemies around here. If you guys want to fight me, that'd be great. Oh, I shouldn't have I shouldn't have got rid of that. Get rid of them as soon as possible. That's what I'm doing. There's gonna be one big monster, isn't there? Nice little overload there as well. Probably should have saved it for an enemy, but like we're gonna be using special skills anyway. More points. It's just three or three. There's one monster left. Oh, it's a big boy. I'd say attacking. Don't attack the thing. Wait, wait is he still attacking the thing though? Let's heal up a bit. Wrong person to heal up. Ninety percent left on this. We can do this, though. Four percent. Please, 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 please. No, 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 no. 
What about the monster corpse in our church? We barely defended that. Sure, the place is big can't be completely empty and think of all the effort we put into this. Is, is she not talking anymore? Shall we give it once over just to be sure? Yeah, sure. Like, what's happening? Like, I, I remember some people talking about that. Where it was like... Like, it was weird hearing her voice again? That's a bummer. Unless she only uh, talks for her uh, um, acorn quest now, which could be the case. We're going deeper in. Is that a reward? Oh, there's a chest there, though. I thought, I thought her only reward was that. It's an unbelievably cool area. What does the up uh, top look like? Yeah, it's a, it's a cavern. But it's well lit. So there is some light going through the top here. Through the cracks somehow. Or is it coming up from here? More Traveler's like Handy Sword. Strange. And we got that too. And there's more chests. Oh my god, there's so many chests over here. A reward on the road. This was this is more than worth it for this quest. Wait, why is the red? Is that because there's an enemy nearby? Why is it flashing red? Man, this was a really cool area. And the way they were able to tell, like, story, like have great storytelling just from, like, this alone. Like, there was no fancy things about this. Like, it was, it was literally just like, hey, there's people in here trying to take this. There's creatures trying to defend it. You know what I mean? So this is a big deal. So we can return to grind now. I think we should, yeah, we should just definitely just like return now. But look at this, like this is something we like wouldn't have seen if I just didn't, if I just did not do the side quest. So there was a thing in mind where I was like, I don't know if I can do this. You know, this is like looking for all this stuff, but actually it was kind of fun looking for all this stuff. Yo, Bax, did you find anything? We found a whole bunch of treasure hoarders outside. Treasures, did you chase them off? Those low down, no good crooks. Always skulking about, they're so annoying, it's high time someone taught them a lesson. And there was nothing inside? No matter. No matter. There's nothing wrong with the extra running around while you're enough to handle. Here, these are for you. You've been out and about all day. Go buy something nice either. Wait, did we steal? So there was nothing inside. That's good. That's good. We stole? A reward on the road. Um, <laughs> I think we stole. <laughs> Guys, I think we robbed. Guys, I think we robbed some stuff. <laughs> Just to let you know, guys, I think we're thieves. <laughs> uh, we can do one more of these. <laughs> Rightly so. It's not a, 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 a character. But we did get a blood taint greatsword, thank god. We've been so lucky, like, uh, like because I have... Bennett and Razor. No, I'm fine, thank you. Uh, Bennett and Razor. I do have this... I'm at this stage now with Bennett and Razor that, like... It's, and I got Gavin, and I got... Drowned. That, like, I'm at, like, this stage where it's, like... Like, I'm not... I'm never gonna get upset at, like, not getting any characters anymore, you know? Because it's, like... I, I feel like I've gotten very lucky with some of these great characters that I've gotten. Yeah. I feel like complaining would be very, very silly, you know? I feel like it would be incredibly silly to complain right now. A reward on the road. there you're looking up here too so that was a fun quest but like we said the next one we're heading down towards here um 
And that's the way we're going to get the Catherine. It's so crazy that that's how our journey started. And we're on a whole different uh, wavelength now. Do we have enough to worship again? Probably not. Oh, we do. But like not enough to get a full thing out of it. This is really, really fun. This is a really fun time for me, this episode. I had a, I had a great time. I did. And this is going to be a quest for the next time. So what is this up here again? Oh, viewpoint. It's gorgeous. I think it's always like really, um, the viewpoints are always very pretty in this game. They do a good job with that aspect of it, don't they? At least I feel show anyway. Okay, so that should do it for this episode, guys. We are coming in to the main portion of Liu. In fact, like the next quest we're going to be doing is going to be heading down towards this area here to meet up with Catherine. Um, I wonder should we unlock that? We probably will see this along the way. Unlock that first. Uh, unlock these. It seems like there's a whole different story going on here, really. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see definitely how it goes. Because it could be something completely different. It could be... We could, this might be off the beaten path, which usually is like, but that's not too big of a deal. Uh, we might explore some more Dragon Spine next time. I think doing Dragon Spine bit by bit is actually a good idea. It's really difficult for me, the whole area. Um, but yeah, uh, let's thank the Can Ever Pay the Baby Gangsta tier, which is Ty Fire 2 Jamie Bull, Janet the Banana, Smidge, Rachel S., Felicious Felix, George Candelaria, S. Kun, Yuld, Radish, Poker Girl, and the Ghost of Inazuma. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one.